Hey everyone, it's Bowie here from Beach Beat, Sunshine Coast, Queensland, Caloundra. Today we're going to be doing a review on an exciting model, the NSP Magnet. Now I know NSP has been known as a bit of that learner brand, but lately they've been coming up with some great models and don't be surprised that you're going to see some advanced surfers riding these things because I've been surfing one of these and I've been blown away with how good they go. And if you don't have a big budget, these things are well under a thousand bucks. So price wise, they are one of the best price midlinks at the moment and they definitely surf pretty amazing. The thing with this board is it's still got a fair bit of rocker at the nose, but they do hold a fair bit of volume in the rails, which makes them super easy to paddle for those guys that just want something that they can glide on, but you can still throw it around like a mid length and you can definitely chuck it round when it gets a bit bigger and a bit punchier, more like a short board. This board will sort of surf, I reckon, two foot up to like four foot plus on the point breaks. Definitely places like Noosa, Alex and Moffat's, you can get away with surfing a bit bigger. They get a lot of drive, a lot of speed. You've got a fairly wide tail in front of those fins. It's quite wide up this part of the board, but then pulls in hard at the back half, which is where you get that drive and projection. It's also got quite a hard edge through the back half of the board, but softens out as you're coming forward, which means it makes it forgiving for those smaller days, but super driving and fast for the bigger days. Double concave in that back half of the board, really helping it tip rail to rail. Now, I've been running it as a two plus one, you can also surf them as a single pin if you want them to be cruisier. And like I said, it's got a fair bit of foam forward, so they're definitely easy to paddle. Now, pin wise, I've been using the Jerry Lopez. So the Jerry Lopez is quite an upright pin. So that pin is gonna give you plenty of pivot and release. I'm using this with side pins though. So just the Futures side bites. These only come in Futures, this board. Um, the side bites, as you can see, they're a glass side bite, but they're relatively small and drawn back, so that's going to give you a hold, but this is going to give you a pivot out of your turns. So it's a great fin combination. If you're going to go a single fin, I'd recommend around that 8 inch and depending on where you're surfing. So that's my review on the NSP Magnet. I hope you all have a fantastic day and get plenty of waves. I'm Bo from Beach Beat. Catch you later.